In the next couple of days on the Addis 15 second I will release the deleted version of this. The deleted version is filmed with a much more new and more expensive camera but the microphone is total shit so I'm not even going to actually use it at all. Um, so I'll post the deleted one, um, I don't know when, but soon, let's say. It's still like an Uncharted with you, but it's not what I wanted. The microphone is rubbish, it is. Comparing to this, you can hear my voice. I'm still working about it and working how I can use it, but it's going to take some time, but I'm still going to be using it because, well, it's a new camera, might as well. Today we're going to be reviewing the Uncharted Lost Legacy. We are. Now, originally I wanted to put this in a not cuddy way, but I'm instead going to just put it in my own way, which means Addie's Reviews. <laughs> A bit of a backstory to this game. Alright, so we had Uncharted 4 and then also Lost Legacy. This one you play as Chloe and also like your second companion, Nadine was. Now Samuel uh, Drake makes a um, return in this, kind of like a third companion until the end of the game. Your main villain is Safar, uh, Sif I think. Sif it starts with an A, A, S, B, B I don't know. Um, but he's basically your main villain. Now, I know one of the things that Caddy pointed out in his review that basically this villain is the same from Uncharted 2. Now, I only just started to play that game on the Addis Games channel, so guessing he's right. Um, yeah, but this this is basically originally it was going to be like a DLC to Uncharted 4 but then they made it longer so it's kind of like a standalone DLC in Baboom. Now as you know I've kind of I think I've kind of already said this beforehand in one of my vlogs but the cover to this is not as good Uncharted 4 uh, so I'm thinking that they only had about a year to spend on this so they needed to get something out, which I hope they don't bring out another Uncharted game next year. If they do, that'll be fantastic, but let's just take a break one year without Uncharted and then we'll go back to it. I know that The Lost, um, the Last of Us 2 is coming out soon, which I have no interest in to because I am still under the age limit to buy the game, 17. Um, so now I've explained kind of like the storyline to this game. What do I think of it? Well, I think of it as of being like a good Uncharted game. It's not as emotionally gripping and also sad and as many chapters as of in Uncharted 4. And so this game, it's sad for it's sad for like a couple of minutes, then it goes away. Comparing that to the other one, Uncharted 4, longer, complete longer. And in fact, you're at grip that the only reason why you feel sad and bad for Nate is because all of this bad stuff has been happening like orphanage, brother died, and then you're in a you're in a house playing Crash Bandicoot. Well that's not sad. But the thing is, like with this game it's good. But the good stuff about it, there's, for me there's not that many. Now no I'm not saying this game is bad, but let me just explain. Um Okay, I find out that the good stuff is that the new designs of Chloe. And like Nadine, it's nice having her hair back, but Chloe is kind of like, it's different. It's like, we thought it was better when we saw her in the Nathan Drake collection from the PlayStation 4 or Uncharted 4. But now, her being in this game, the design is much more better. I do understand also that some of the storyline is realistic, which is quite good, which I like. The driving is okay, but it got boring after a while because, like, well, second time playing it a while and trying to find out where to go and to automate and to get the hint to come up, you have to go and kill yourself, and then, and then it, the hint comes up. I, the driving, I just didn't really like it. And then after that. I'm thinking that people liked it so much because like, there wasn't that many scenes of it in Uncharted 4 and then they wanted more of this and also more of the stealth. I'm not a guy to do stealth, in fact I only think stealth makes sense in Arkham Knight. Uh, 
because, well, those games have a better stealth than this. I'm literally saying that. Because you can shoot guns, but that might be my young mind saying that, oh, hey, shooting stuff is fun. So, one of the other good things is Samuel Drake. Now, let's move on to the stuff I didn't quite like. One of the things I don't like about this game is you guys saying that you keep missing the reasons why you don't miss Nate from Drake. It's like when he, when I heard that he kind of died in, in some sort of a way during this timeline of Uncharted. It's like, are you guys going to be happy for it? Because like, I like Nathan Drake quite a lot and it was a good way to wrap up on him in Uncharted 4. And I'm guessing more of him in the Uncharted film if it happens. But, just like, ugh, please just listen to me once. Do you like Nathan Drake or not? Alright, now moving on to the stuff that I don't like. Um, so as I just previously just said, the driving stages. The driving stages are really good, I like it. The horn can, um, <sighs> but the driving stages are good, but they're not as good as Uncharted 4. And it's, Bleh. now there's not that many climbing stages as of like in the last one. There was fast defense with, there's not that many fast defense, but in this, the climbing is good, but I don't feel like it's limited, or I don't feel like it's like, um, I don't know. The climbing is basically is fantastic, but it's not as good as Uncharted 4. Um, uh, the puzzle solve, pus, oh yeah, that. The puzzle solving is Okay, in fact, pre uh, just now, as I'm doing my Eddie's Games with um, Eddie's Games uh, gameplays of Uncharted The Lost Legacy, I in fact skipped one chapter to not do one because it was so goddamn hard. I don't like puzzles that much at all, really. I only like them if they're super easy. But if they're hard, most of the time I'm not even going to bother. First time trying, you're going to have to do it, but then the second time when you're doing videos for it, I don't have time for that. It's just like the, the videos will extend to an hour because, well, I had to keep cutting them down so the uploading time is faster. Um, so the puzzles are not as good because in Uncharted 4 they spaced them out, they did. It was like you uh, had a bit of an introduction, it's kind of like fight, 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 puzzle, and there's not that many, and they space it out to make it feel like it's just good, and it's kind of like the stuff what you need. Um, so yeah, so the puzzle stuff is not that good. Now, I could go on to days saying that Uncharted The Lost Legacy about the things I don't like about it, but I will want to say to start, this game is good, but it's not as good as Uncharted 4. There. So I hope you enjoyed my review of Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Um, so I have my final with the, in the last part, just well. Kids outside being noisy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching so much. If you want to go and check out Uncharted The Lost Legacy, um, some stuff I will say, I, put, I will put it in the description. Anyway, if it's your birthday today, happy freaking birthday to you. You're amazing. And please remember to stay beautiful. And... Oh, um, sorry, I forgot. Um, I'm going to give Uncharted The Lost Legacy um, an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching.